girls. I um, I was just sitting here on the couch and Mark goes, hey, you want to go try and catch a mulloway? Okay. Yeah, cool. Let's go. So we're going to go catch a mulloway. We'll see you soon. Hi guys, heading down to uh, Patterson Lakes. Just gonna go to pick Mark up from uh, Gotcha Bait and Burley where he works. And uh, on our way to Patterson Lakes after the elusive Mulloway. Well, really, I'll just call them Jewfish because they're only little ones down there. But you know what? A Mulloway is a Mulloway, or a Jewfish is a Jewfish. And there's something very, very special about that fish for a lot, a lot of anglers. A lot of people pursue them for years and years and years and never, and never get them. I'm one of them. I'm really hoping that's going to change tonight. So uh, we'll go pick Mark up and we'll see you shortly. Marky Mark, you ready to go down, mate? Yeah, ready to go. Get ourselves a Mulloway. Good if the hard day's work, ready to go. Michael, how you doing? Good, mate. Good. Good to see you again. Good too, mate. You too. Alright, guys, we're going to head down the paddock. You finished your work for the day? Yep. Yep, I've just been here. Alright, let's get out of here. Go and give it a crack. I'll leave you again. Chris to come down, let's gave him a call and said he's going to come down and join us. So this is where we're fishing. Uh, the last boat ramp on the Patterson Lakes. This place is usually absolutely humpy in snapper season. And we're about three months past snapper season. So the target species for tonight is Mulloway. Little little dewfish, fish, nothing big. Although a big one would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be nice. But uh, look, it's hard enough just to catch a little one, so we're just going to attempt to do that and have a bit of fun on the way. Hey, about time you got here, mate. Hello, Mickey. How are ya? Yeah, good, bud. That's the way. Good to see ya. Yeah, you too. How are you guys going down here? Uh, just got the lines in, mate, so get your bait in the water quickly. Fantastic. Now, have you had any? No, no, they're just literally just gone in the water, so. Fantastic. What are we targeting tonight here, Mick? Uh, a little Jewfish, mate, little soapies. They're yeah, fantastic. Or we could get a real big soapy, which would be really big soapy. Is that like neighbours or home and away? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's like one of those really bad shows. <laughs> Fantastic, let's get some lines in the water. How you going? So we've got one of Tony's tackles nets here. Great for land based. Especially this net. Look at that angle on it. Best thing about these nets, you can put a boat net on it, an oar on it, a gaff on it, put an extra pole. I mean, look how long that is. You can put another pole on that if you want, make it even longer. And just simply go down. And that's how you get your fish. Great for piers. Piers, landings, anything like that. Fantastic. Let's hope we get a chance to use it. Guys, this is my rig of choice. 
double snell, double snood, whatever you like to call it. Now the way I like to do it, I go through the meat side. You sort of try to measure it because you want the, the, the stinger hook to go right at the tail or the point. You go through the skin first, sorry through the meat and then back through there. So that will sit like that. And then this one, just your keeper hook. Now when any sort of fish just comes up and goes like that, you're going to get a good hook up. You've got good hook exposure. Hook exposure is the main thing when you're pre presenting bait. Well, I tell you what, that did not take long. I just threw that bait out and it just got slammed straight away. Got that net together? Yep. Beautiful. Ashes all, right. all over it. It's coming in. It's coming in here. Sorry, mate, have I got your line there? Wow, that was quick. Yeah, it was very quick, wasn't it? He's going to put the net in the water, Steph, and I'll try and guide him into it. Yeah. He'll be up any minute now. He's got some kick to him. Can you see some colour? Yeah, here he comes. <laughs> oh, you've taken everyone's oh, line. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There he goes. Oh, he's a beautiful fish. He's nice, isn't he? Nice, Steph. Kind of girl, beautiful work. That's not dropping now. Beautiful work, look at that. Oh, that's great. That's sensational. I can hear him grunting. It's a common noise these guys make. Some people call them grunts, actually. Just a beautiful, beautiful specimen. They swim through the water with such power. They're a lazy fish, but when they and they get hooked up. That was my other rod going, so I'm gonna get this guy back in the water. I'm gonna release this guy now. They're just such a beautiful fish, I love them so much. Who would have thought you just get these fish just cruising up and down the Patterson River? There's boats going up and down, making noise and whatnot. And these guys, are meant to be one of the most rarest fish to catch in Port Phillip and Western Port Bay. I mean, the little ones are probably a lot easier to catch, but. Oh, I love them. So we're going to let this guy go. My favourite part about catching these guys is watching them swim off. Just ease me in the water here. Oh. There he goes. I can see uh, Jesse's really keen to get one, so Steph. And uh, we'll just try and get this smile off my face because it's going to be on it all night. This one back, but it's nice to uh, nice to get one. Just saw him going, the rod going, dunk, dunk. I could see him mouthing it, so I just grabbed the line and went tink, bang, straight away. So the thing is, you don't want to skull drag these guys in. You want to, they want to go, you let them go. 
Let him take line. He's not finished. <laughs> This one back in the water pretty quick. Yeah. Another beautiful fish. All right, let's go release him really quickly. Ah. Come on, mate. It's important you spend a bit of time in the water with them. You want them to swim away. Swim off on their own accord. Yeah. He's got the air back into him. There he goes. Nice big kick. Beautiful. All right, number two. All right, it's time for Jesse and uh, Steph to get one. That's great. I'm going to never, ever, ever get it. I don't care that they're only little. I'll never get sick of catching these little guys. They're great. Oh, awesome. All right, well, um, We'll be back to you shortly. He's just hooked up, so... Left-handed. Looks like it's going to be a little dewy. Yeah. Away, is it? Certainly yeah. is. Grab the net. It's only a small one. It's wrapped up in the line. Nice one. Beautiful work. Beautiful. So what's your name, mate? Nick. Nick? Nick, yeah. Well done, Nick. Yeah, I haven't caught many of these, I tell you that much. And, uh, any, stoked. Any, any Malloway's a great Malloway, and uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. Them. Oh, yeah, get out of it, buddy. Get the little dog <laughs> trying to flog our bait. <laughs> I'm stoked. Took a bit of line, too. So. He did, he did. He took off like a rocket. Yeah. No, I'm happy with that. Now it's the time for the release. Yeah. Thank him for the yep. pleasure, mate, and get him yep. back out there. All right. How are we going to do this? We'll go down here. Man, I'm still shaking. <laughs> That's yeah, a bar. I'll do that to you, mate. Should we get the measuring stick on him? <laughs> Pop the hooks and let's get the measure on him. What a nice fish. You're back on again. Mm -hmm. Just when we thought we'd finish up for the day. Don't know how big he is. Tighten that up a little. Yep. It's walked in until it doesn't run under the pier. I still can't see. Oh, here we no, go. No, no. That's, That's a brim. brim. That's a big brim. That's a nice brim. Well I done, thought it Steph. felt more like a brim. We're fishing for Mulloway. <laughs> and Steph gets a nice Are brim. You right? Yeah. That's a that's a cracker. <laughs> that's a nice brim. Wow, he's huge. He'd be about 30 years old, that fish. Really? Yeah, they're very old fish. 
Oh, oh, no, I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Can, uh, can you hold that, mate? Okay. That is a beautiful size brim. That is. Let me grab him. Yeah, just, just put your hand. Nose. That's it. Well, it's a good sign of maturity. Well done. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? That's a great fish. Can you well, I tell you what, we're out here fishing for Mulloway, and that took a bit of soury. These brim must be hungry. It took a bit of soury on a 3 0 size hook, and wow, that's great. Everyone down here is fishing for brim with prawns. Again, a decent little fight on him. Oh, great, great mm. fight, yeah. No, he's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, should we get him back in? Yeah, let's go release him down at the ramp. He doesn't really want to. Yeah, he'll kick when he starts to kick. He's starting to. Yep. Come on. See, it doesn't matter, you just got to spend time with him. It's good, you get to spend time with the fish you catch. Give him a bit of loving. Yep. There we go, off he goes. Well, uh, well done, Steph. It's not the Mulloway, but I'll tell you what, that's something to be proud of. A brim like that, that's great. Yeah, it was decent, wasn't it? Yeah. So I reckon we can uh, put the lines back in. Hey, viewers. One of the things that's really, really important to remember when you're fishing, obviously it's quite elementary that you take your rubbish home, but the environmental damage that this stuff here does, fishing line, gets tangled, birds get tangled in it, um, gets stuck just everywhere. So just whatever you do, if you cut your leader off, if you snap your line, whatever, please just bunch it up, put it in your tackle box and take it home. That's my two cents. And the frustration they bring to the table, lost bites, wrong timings, fish missed at the net. It's uh, really hard fishing, but when it pays off, when it pays off, and you get that fish in the net. There you go, mate. There you go, buddy. It's it's a fantastic feeling, your I gotta say. Your first mull away. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty lost for words. And to put it simply, it's not a trophy fish. It's not a monster fish. It's not even a legal size fish. But it's a mull away, and it's. Months of hard work. Let's, let's put it on the ground, mate. Hang off. Let's put it on the ground. There you go, mate. Well done, buddy. And that was worth all the trouble of putting in the hours and putting the time to get onto one of these guys. Jeez, I shot them teeth. They fight well, they look beautiful. When they're a bit bigger, they're great eating, but for now, we just catch them for sport and yeah, it doesn't really get much better than that. Well done, mate. Well Thanks. done. How good is it? How oh, good do you feel? Awesome. It's like uh, it's like you're a contestant on the TV show, and, <laughs> and you're waiting to get told if you won the show or not. That's what it's like waiting for a bite from one of these guys. And then when the drag goes off and he's locked on, you think, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm the winner today. Well, uh, we'll get you a photo of this, mate. Yeah, you got to get a photo. And then first we'll... of everything, first Mulloway for me. Whoa! He um, he want he really wanted to get back in there quick, didn't <laughs> he? He was ready to go from the green light. <laughs> ah, that's great. He's still on. You're gonna have about 101 lines. Nice fish. <laughs> got this on the uh, lightest rod I got here. Look at that. That is great. <laughs> How's he feel, Mick? Shaking his head around. He's brilliant. Uh, where's that net? Yeah, I'll get the net, mate. Thanks, buddy. That's alright mate, no, no, we'll, no, just, we'll get rid of them later. <laughs> how, much, how much fun is it on light tackle? Oh mate, he's great. You're going to have about 101 lines. He's coming up soon. Hey. Oh, that's a good one. He's alright too. This is only a 10 pound line. <laughs> you laugh at me. There he is. Oh, he's out there. Run, he? There he is. Yeah, he's a keeper. Oh, I won't be kept him, mate. Come on. Look at his eyes, orange. Such light lines, so I've just got a orange line, orange eyes. Get that net in the water, buddy. Yeah. Just let him um, come over the top of it, Chris. I'll get him over the top. Yeah. Head in there, beautiful work. Yeah. 
How good are these nets? Beautiful net. Alright, good to thank the net people. <laughs> Alrighty. He's not bad at all. That's actually quite a nice fish. Well done, Mickey. It's been your dream species. It is my dream species. I love these fish. Um, my pliers are just there, mate. Just up, up a bit. Keep going, there's some red ones. Alloys on. Yeah. What's the orange going on in his mouth, mate? They've got an um, orange they got, they got a yellow. Thanks, mate. They've um, All their jaws are yellow inside. It's quite a, quite a good colour. So what did you catch him on, Mickey? Sari. Mark yep. gave us some sari uh, to come out tonight. Little sari fillet. Did the job. Fantastic, mate. This is, um, it's been a few caught here tonight, and this is probably the biggest one. That's a beautiful fish, mate. Watch those gill rays. Yeah. That is a beautiful fish. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at these teeth on. Look at those little grinding kind of teeth. <laughs> I've um, spent many years chasing these fish. And they're, <laughs> they're such a, this is just such a beautiful fish. There's so many anglers out there that just love to catch these, and I'm one of them. And here we are at the Patterson, Patterson River. And uh, I do believe he'd be a size fish just. Congratulations, Mick. That's a great effort, pal. Thanks, mate. You've really put the work in and uh, you got the fish to show. Well, you got, yeah, you got to put the hours in for these fish. But um, I'm going to go down and release this fish down on the dock. Yep. I want to watch this beautiful thing swim away. Yep. I've got your eggy. Patterson, Lake, Patterson Lakes Mulloway. Stretch him out, matey. That's 63 centimetres. That's a keeper if I wanted to. Uh, he's a bit bent, sorry. He's a bit longer than that. Oh, a bit longer. 60, 60, about 65, mate. 65 yeah. 65 centimetres. Wow. 65 effort, centimetre mulloy. Okay, guys. Just going to release this beautiful fish. Thank you for the honour, mate. It's been a privilege. Such a beautiful fish. Just got to let him get his bearings. The oxygen in his gills. Come on, mate. He's starting to move his mouth, don't he? He wants to swim. There's a beautiful kicking going on. He'll know when he kicks, mate. <laughs> There we go. There we go. See you, fella. See you again. Well, I love those fish. They are my all-time favourite fish. Well. Hey, well done, Mickey. Thanks, Put it there, mate. pal. What a great effort. You worked hard and you've Thanks, done really well. Ah, I love them. They're beautiful. He's only a little one, but, you know, it's still a mull away. Absolutely. I know a lot of people out there that have been fishing for years and haven't caught one of them. So I'm very, um, very honoured. Yeah, it's a beautiful fish. I, I was sitting at home the other night, and Mark goes to me, he goes, "Let's go catch a mulloy." I go, "Yeah, right." He goes, "No, let's go down Patterson Lakes. They're going." That's it. Four days later. Hey. Mission accomplished. Done. Mark knows what he's talking about. So it's been a fantastic night. Um, breeze is starting to come up a little bit, so I reckon we might be ready to call it a night. What yeah, do you reckon? Yeah, it's getting a bit late. Need to head home, get some sleep, go out and do it again. Fantastic. Congratulations to you, mate. Thanks, well mate. Let's do it. We'll uh, we'll see you next time.